Hi guys! In today's video, I'm going to talk to you about the basics of Amharic, Amarinya. So, first of all, I'd like to say that I'm not a linguist, so everything I will tell you is the thing that I read. I will do my best to explain the basics of Amharic. So a bit about the root of Amharic. It is a Semitic language. A Semitic language is the family of languages that include Hebrew, Arabic, Tigri, Arami and Tigrinya. Amharic is the official working language for the Ethiopian federal government. But depending on the regions, different languages are spoken in Ethiopia. For example, Tigrinya, Oromiya, and so many other languages and dialects. Nevertheless, Amharic is the lingua franca in Ethiopia. So a lingua franca is basically a language that is common in a country where people speak different dialects, different languages. It means that it's the common language among the people of Ethiopia. That's why Amarinya is the most spoken language in Ethiopia. Other countries in Africa have spoken languages but they don't have their own alphabet. So Ethiopia is the only country in Africa that has its own alphabet and own endemic language. This alphabet is composed of about 182 syllabic signs called fiddles. So each sign is composed of a basic form that represents a sound. And when you change this basic form, by adding a small sign or removing a small sign, it changes the sound that is produced. So now I'm going to teach you a few sentences that you could use to speak to someone who is from Ethiopia or when you go to Ethiopia. So I will cover three main thematics. The first one will be how to greet someone, how to present yourself quickly, and then a situation in a restaurant. The first one is how to say hello to someone. So basically you have several forms to say hello. The most used one in Ethiopia is hello or salam. If you want to ask to someone how they are, so you have to be careful because when you address yourself to a woman and when you address yourself to a man, the words are different. So if you want to ask to a woman how she is, you would say and it nesh. So end it is how and nesh is are you. You basically know to whom you're talking based on the form of the verb. So everything is done on the verb to know which person you're talking to and also to whom you're addressing yourself. So if it's a woman or a man. When you address yourself to a man and if you want to ask him how he is, you would say end it ne. So end it doesn't change, but the verb changes for a woman Nesh for a man, ne. If you want to reply to the question and it nesh, so if someone asks me and it nesh, I would reply dana nein. Dana means well and nein is I am. So dana nein. And it nesh and it na dana nein. So this is how you say how are you and how you reply to how are you. Afterwards, you can present yourself. So, if you want to say my name is Vika, you would say Seme Vika No. Seme is my name. So, name is Sim. But if you add something at the end of this word in Amharic, you know if it's your name, his name, or her name. Seme. So sim doesn't change, but the end of the verb gives the information about whom you're speaking. So seme Veronique now. If you want to ask to a woman what's her name, you would say simish manno. Simish manno. If you want to speak to a man, you would say sim manno. So now we can also learn how to say how old are you to someone. No surprise, when you speak to a woman, it's different than when you speak to a man. 
So if you want to ask to a woman how old she is, you would say Sint Ametish No Sint is how many, how much Ametish the number of years you have that she has and no is the verb to be if you want to ask to a man how old he is you would say sent amate no sent amate no sent amate no sent amate no and when you want to reply first you have to know the numbers so if i want to reply to myself i'm 24 so you would say haya arat haya is 20 arat is 4 amate the number of years that i have no haya arat amate no if you want to know your numbers then i can give you the numbers from 1 to 10 and from 20 uh, 30 so the tens the numbers from 1 to 10 are and Hulet, Sost, Arat, Amist, Sittist, Sawat, Cement, Zetain, Asr. So now 20 is Haya, 30 is Salasa, 40 is Arba, 50 is Hamsa, and 100 is Mato. So starting from 10 to 20 to 30 and so on, if you want to build your number, you have to put the tens followed by the units. Only from 10 to 20, you have to be careful because you have to put a small word between the tens and the units. So if you want to say 11, you have to say asr and and. So 10 and 1. But when you say it quickly, is asra and. Asra and asra hulet for 12 asra sost asra arat starting from 20 then it's just the tens and the units so 21 will be haya and 24 is haya arat okay and so on so now i'm all inviting you to the restaurant we go in with a salam Usually the server will come to you and sit you at your table. Once you're sat down, you want to order one Coke and injera, or let's say Dorot. So you sit down, you want to order one Coke and Dorot. How are you going to say that? You're going to ask the guy and Coca Enna for and Dorot Efadlegalo. So here the key word is I want. And you can use it for anything. Coca, Fallegallo. Fanta, Fallegallo. Doroat, Fallegallo. Injera, Fallegallo. And that's it. Once you're in a restaurant, you read the menu, you say the word you want, you say Fallegallo, and that's it. So now the guy comes with your Coke and your Doroat. He puts it on the table. You say Amasek Gnallo. Amasek Gnallo is thank you. Usually, Ethiopian people, when they say thank you, they nod with their head. So, he puts the Coke on the table, you say, I'm sick, He puts the Doroat on your table, you say, I'm sick, If you want to reply to his question, if you want more, or if you don't want more, you have to know two words. Yes, no. Yes is, ow. Oh. No is, I. So if he comes back with a plate of Doroat and he say you want more and you understand that he's asking you you want more, you say I if you don't want, Ow if you want more. And if you want to say no I'm full, just it's okay, you say Bakany. So it's like you're full and you don't want anything more. Hi guys! Thanks for watching this video on Basic Amharic with Veronique. If you want more videos like this, please don't hesitate to, to tell us on the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe and see you on our next video of Your World African Cats.